Let's discuss the polar form of complex numbers, the product and quotients, powers, and roots. Before we do the actual example, I would like to introduce Abraham de Mover, a French mathematician known for the formula that links complex numbers and trigonometry. These formulas have made working with products, quotients, powers, and roots of complex numbers. Let's start with products of complex numbers. If C sub 1 equals to R1 quantity cosine theta 1 plus I sine theta 1, and C2 equals to R sub 2 cosine theta 2 plus I sine theta 2, then the product of these numbers is given as C sub 1, C sub 2, times the product of R1, R sub 2, times the quantity cosine, addition of their angle, plus I sine, addition of their angle. The expression below is a short notation of this C1, C2, or the product of complex numbers. Notice that the product calls for multiplying the moduli and adding the angles. Okay, example 1. Find the product of C1, C2. Given C sub 1 equals to 4 cosine 80 degrees plus I sine 80 degrees and C sub 2 equals to 2 cosine 145 degrees plus I sine 145 degrees. So what we will do is to multiply their moduli and add their angles. Doing that we will have moduli 4 times 2 equals 8. Angle 80 plus 145 degrees equals 225. And as we all know, the radian equivalent of 225 degrees is pi pi over 4. This pi pi over 4 will fall on the third quadrant. And using the unit circle, it will fall on negative square root of 2 over 2 in the real axis as well as negative square root of 2 over 2 on the imaginary axis. Therefore, multiplying our moduli 8 on the rectangular form, we will have the final answer negative 4 square root of 2 minus 4i square root of 2. Now let's talk about quotients of complex numbers. If we are given two complex numbers, C sub 1 equals to R1 cosine theta 1 plus I sine theta 1, and C sub 2 equals to R sub 2 cosine theta 2 plus I, I sine theta 2, then the quotient of these numbers is given as ratio of c sub 1 divided by ratio of c sub 2 and the ratio of their moduli r sub 1 r sub 2 times the cosine this time a subtraction of their angles and i sine theta subtraction of their angle as well again the next equation is just a short notation for cosine and i sine parameter in here you will notice that the product calls for multiplying the moduli but now it is subtracting the angles. So let us have example. Find the quotient of C sub 1 over C sub 2 given C sub 1 equals to 2 cosine 213 degrees plus I sine 213 degrees and C sub 2 equals to 4 cosine 33 plus I sine 33 degrees. For the solution, we will divide the moduli 2 over 4 equal to 1 half and then we will subtract the two angles, 213 minus 33 degrees is equivalent to 180. As we all know, cosine 180 degrees is negative 1 and sine of 180 degrees is 0. So we will be left by just a real part equal to 1 half times the negative 1 or equal to negative 1 half. Now let's go for the powers of complex numbers. We will use the De Morbs theorem for solving powers of complex numbers. And it says, for a positive n, a complex number raised to n is found by raising the modulus to the nth power and multiplying the argument by n. If z is r cosine theta plus i sine theta is a complex number, then z to the n power, we will just raise the modulo to n and then all the argument inside the cosine theta and sine theta will be multiplied to n as well. For short notation, say raised to n equals to r raised to n cosine i sine quantity n theta. 
Please take note that n is a positive integer. Let's have an example. Evaluate the expression quantity 1 plus i raised to 5 using the Moab's theorem. For the solution, since it is on a rectangular form, we will have to get the modulo r. And with real equals to 1 and the imaginary equals to 1, we will have r equals to square root of 2. For the angle, we will use tangent theta. We have 1 divided by 1 or equivalent to theta pi over 4 or equivalent to 90 degrees. So now we will have on our equation a plus b sub i raised to n equals to r sub n cosine n theta plus i sine n theta substituting what we have got from the value of our modulo which is square root of 2 and our angle pi over 4 into our equation we will have modulo square root of 2 raised to 5 cosine pi over 4 times the n equals to 5 plus i sine theta pi over 4 times the n equals to 5. So square root of 2 raised to 5 will be equivalent to 4 times square root of 2 and cosine 5 pi over 4 is negative square root of 2 over 2 as well as sine 5 pi over 4 is equivalent to square root of negative 2 over 2. Manipulating our equation, we will end up having 1 plus i raised to 5 is equal to negative 4 minus 4i. So now let's have the roots of complex numbers. According to the Merv's theorem, for a positive n, a complex number raised to a rational exponent 1 over n is found by raising the modulus to the power with a rational exponent 1 over n and multiplying the argument by 1 over n. And to retain the periodicity is to add a 2k pi over n to the argument. So to find the nth root of the complex number in the following form, use the formula given as say raised to the rational exponent 1 over n is equal to modulo raised to 1 over n cosine a theta is multiplied with 1 over n plus a periodicity term equal to 2k pi over n and the same we will do with the sine term a theta will be multiplied with 1 over n plus the periodicity term 2k pi over n where k equal to 0 1 2 3 up to the n minus 1 for the example, evaluate the cube roots of a complex number equal to 8 cosine 2 pi over 3 plus i sine 2 pi over 3. For the solution, we will use the nth root formula. So what we will do is raise the modulo to 1 over n and as well as multiplying our theta to 1 over n as well. 1 over n is equal to 1 third we will end up having 8 to the 1 third or cube root of 8 is equal to 2 and the angle 2 pi over 3 times 1 third is equal to 2 pi over 9. In this case, there will be 3 roots with k equals to 0, 1, and 2. Let's compute the first root. For k equal to 0, the periodicity term will vanish and we will be left by 2 cosine 2 pi over 9 plus i sine 2 pi over 9 as our first root. Now let's have k equal to 1. We will end up having 2 cosine 2 pi over 9 plus 6 pi over 9 plus i sine 2 pi over 9. Manipulating our angle, we will end up having 8 pi over 9 and that will be our Second root equivalent to 2 cosine 8 pi over 9 plus i sine pi over 9. Let's have k over 2. In this case, we will have our argument equals to 2 pi over 9 plus 12 pi over 9. Manipulating our argument, we will end up having 14 pi over 9. So our third root where k equal to 2 is equal to 2 cosine of 14 pi over 9 plus i sine of 14 pi over 9. 
So that would be all for the product, quotients, and powers, and roots of the polar form of complex numbers. You will observe that we only need the Dimoab's theorem for the products, quotients, powers, and roots of complex numbers.